Hello everyone and welcome to this year's awards uh, ceremony where we're going to acknowledge those folks who've been promoted and our new hires and all the great things that have been going on uh, around the department over the last year and oh boy what a year. Um, this pandemic has uh, stressed the department most definitely but it, it really didn't change the department because you guys and gals have been doing outstanding work for decades uh, on end. And the reality is, is that uh, what it did bring to mind for me is a greater awareness of the everyday impacts that you feel. We know we have behavioral health impacts and physical health impacts that impact you, but those become kind of a white noise hum uh, sometimes. This pandemic added a new threat and vulnerability and it just made us more aware of, oh my gosh, there's, there's just so many things that you're exposed to every day. Uh, and now the biological world has come to us in, in a new form of, of a threat. It was always there. Uh, many of us have gone through the AIDS epidemic and certainly, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, what would it be, it's Zika and some of the other flu type ones. But the reality is, is that uh, you folks on the front lines are essential workers and you are at the tip of the spear and, and certainly society as a whole has learned a greater appreciation for you but i uh, as your uh, leader here in the organization realize every day just how important you are to the public safety and wellness of our community so it's my great uh, honor to get us kicked off here today we're going to talk about some great things that are going on and uh, i can't wait for uh, our recipients of not only the awards but also our promotees to be highlighted Hello everybody, and we're thankful that you can join us for this ceremony. And even though this ceremony is an online experience and a virtual one, I hope that all of those that we honor today really feel a sense of accomplishment for all the hard work that they've put in. So right now I'd like to invite you to join me as I pray for everything that's going to be happening in this ceremony. Bow your head and join me as we pray. Father, thank you for uh, today. Thank you for the chance to be able to honor those who have uh, worked so hard to distinguish themselves with their endurance, their dedication, and their excellence. Father, I thank you for the support systems that uh, are around those that we celebrate today, for the family, the friends, the co-workers who have come alongside and helped support and encourage those that uh, have worked so hard. Father, we thank you for those that have excelled, and I'd pray that uh, their example would be an example that all of us could watch and be motivated to follow. And Father, we thank you for uh, being able to honor those that are joining the Scottsdale Fire family today. We thank you for adding to our number. And God, I would pray that you'd help keep them safe, that you'd help uh, put your hand of blessing on them and make them healthy physically, emotionally, and spiritually, and help them to do what you came to do, which was to sacrifice and to care. So Father, in all that's going to happen today, we ask your blessing, and we ask that you would put your hand of blessing on this service and on those that we honor. So I pray this in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus, amen. Thank you, and enjoy the ceremony. Welcome to the Scottsdale Fire Awards and Promotions Ceremony. On behalf of the City Council and the citizens of Scottsdale, it is my privilege to recognize your accomplishments. I'm glad that one of my first official acts as mayor is to be with you. Yesterday, I enacted a proclamation declaration of emergency to cope with the coronavirus pandemic. Just last week at 1.44 in the morning, you responded to my neighbor who had collapsed suffering from COVID. I thank you for aiding her, and believe me, her husband is very grateful for your quick response. You always respond when Scottsdale residents need help, no matter how difficult the circumstances. Please accept my heartfelt thanks for all you do. Congratulations to the award recipients and to those who earned promotions today. I'm proud of your hard work 
and dedication to our community. Thank you, Chief Shannon, for inviting me to this important ceremony. I look forward to the future when we can celebrate this event in person. Stay healthy and enjoy this wonderful day. Hi, I get the great honor of announcing the Community Service Partnership Award for the year of 2021 to Cigna. Um, they've done such a great job with helping us with our early detection screening for our firefighters and, uh, and really have been a great partner in, in this initiative. You know, over the years, historically, line of uh, duty deaths in the fire service 
range about 80 to 100 per year. Um, and there, outside of that, there's three big killers that cause way more numbers of deaths than uh, line of duty deaths each year. Those three big killers in the fire service are cancer, cardiac disease, and um, suicide. And so, you know, the Scottsdale Fire Department's been involved regionally and nationally trying to, to address some of these issues. And about two years ago, we got together with Cigna and wanted to part with, partner with them to develop a early detection screening process uh, for our firefighters to identify some of these risk factors earlier. We met with them countless amounts of time um, and met with other specialists across the country to develop a program that focuses on early detection screening and preventative measures for our firefighters. So I am so happy to, to announce that we've built a program. It's based on early detection, like I said. It's based on um, continuous uh, uh, doctor care and it's based on a, a wellness package that's totally inclusive to what we do in our industry. So this is being beta tested currently and the plan for rollout is March of 2021 for all Scottsdale firefighters. So I wanna thank you Cigna for your partnership um, in managing this great and most important initiative. Thank you. As part of the 2020 Scottsdale Fire Department Annual Awards, we would like to recognize Purchasing Director Robert Sheffy for outstanding service. As many of you know, over the last 15 years, the Scottsdale Fire Department has been utilizing space in the basement of District 3 for our resource management and logistic needs. Unfortunately, in this crazy year of the pandemic and the COVID-19, we needed to find new solutions. And because of Robert's collaboration, communication, and compromise, we were able to identify warehouse space of over 1,500 square feet because of his getting to yes with the fire department. We were better able to serve the entire city and support the men and women of the Scottsdale Fire Department. In addition, because of the impact that the pandemic and COVID-19 had on the volunteer corps in the city of Scottsdale, we needed to improve and augment our delivery system. Again, Robert stepped up with his collaborative nature and got us to yes to implement a better use of his personnel to support our delivery and mail system throughout the entire city. It's been 15 long years and Robert Sheppey got us to the finish line with our logistics and resource management needs. Thank you, Robert. I'm happy to announce this year's Civilian Employee of the Year, Natasha Tura. Tasha is always someone that you can count on to provide amazing customer service. It's great knowing that she shuffles her busy schedule around to make time for you when you need it. Tasha always seems to be having a great day and how she acts makes everyone's day better also. Tasha is prompt to answer a phone, respond to a text message, or reply to email. I know that firsthand. She is able to communicate effectively how ordering needs can be met. She sees projects through to their completion. She came from the private sector, but quickly adapted to the fire department terminology and operations. She truly is an expert in resource management who continuously learns and grows professionally. Tasha is an amazing asset to the organization. Members are appreciative of her, of her high quality customer service to the crews at the station. It is well known that she is committed to listen, communicate, and take action as soon as possible. It is clear that she takes pride and equipment that she manages and orders. Thank you and congratulations on being selected as a Civilian Employee of the Year. The Scottsdale Fire Department 2020 Volunteer of the Year is Louise Lamb. What a treasure she's been to the Scottsdale Fire Department in the city of Scottsdale. Especially in this past year with the pandemic and the COVID-19, where our volunteers kind of had to take a break due to policy decisions, Louise stayed as active as she could for the Scottsdale Fire Department. She is a number one supporter of our Senior Lockbox Program and our Home Safe Home Program. Over her time as a volunteer with the Scottsdale Fire Department, she's provided approximately 1,000 hours of time to this department and to the city and our citizens. Again, Luis, thank you for your service and congratulations. It 
is my pleasure to announce this year's Firefighter of the Year, Adam Brotsman. Adam's commitment to the department was especially demonstrated by his involvement and leadership in the Honor Guard, Wildland, Engineer Preparations, and Paramedic Precepting. Adam attends and represents the Scottsdale Fire Department on multiple occasions in the year, including going to the National Fallen Firefighters event in Colorado and as part of our Honor Guard. For Wildland, Adam has acted as a temporary co-chair for the team. During his time, he's provided training and attended meetings both for Scottsdale Fire Department and regionally. He's introduced new radios and helped define the teams and roles. He is also an A-shift Wildland expert and was moved into staff to Brush 613 during the fire season for almost five months. His leadership and attitude were above and beyond. Adam has designed and many different practical scenarios used for preparations in the CAN Act and the engineer testing process. His drills were so successful that they have been used in the final sign off for A shift for their CAN Act engineer packets. During training, his calm composure and respect to his co workers made for an environment of learning and preparing for our future. Engine 603 is consistently chosen to precept paramedics, whether from outside paramedic schools or our own probationary firefighters on their rotation to become a Scottsdale Fire Department paramedic. His years of experience and engagement to others is impressive. Adam's patience and dedication to people he is in training shows for years to come. He has committed in the past, present, and to our future. With all the challenges of this year, Adam has maintained his integrity and professionalism he is a leader in this organization and deserves to be recognized for his countless hours of service to our department and community. He has invested in our reputation and future of our department. Thank you and congratulations, Adam. It is my pleasure to award Captain Jeff Perry the Scottsdale Fire Department's Officer of the Year. For those of you who don't, aren't familiar with Captain Perry, uh, I'm going to share something with you, a little bit about him. Captain Jeff Perry has an incredible passion for the fire service. This passion has led him to be uh, an incredible mentor and teacher and our go one of our go-to officers uh, for training our new firefighters and training the organization as a whole. Throughout his career, Captain Perry has been driven to be the consummate professional in every aspect of the fire service. Uh, as an officer, he looks to train his crews and others to be that level of professionalism as well. He has established a strong legacy of well-trained individuals who can continue to pass on the skills and knowledge that he has shared, and they have gone on, uh, some of them have gone on to become leaders in this organization as well. He's an incredible resource ranging from engine company tactics, ladder tactics, to wildland. His confidence and his skill set uh, and, instills that confidence with his peers, his crews, as well as the command staff. I can think of a better individual who throughout this past year and even his career who exemplifies what it is to be a professional, competent, strategic thinking officer within the fire service. So from Scottsdale Fire Department, uh, from our family, Jeff, thank you and congratulations. So meritorious service awards go to those folks who in the course of the, the duties that they do, uh, stood out amongst others. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, not, it's like an A plus in the category of the A work that is being done every day out there in the world. And it's my great honor, as you know, I'm a, a honor guard kind of a dork and I really do appreciate the, uh, the importance of honoring those that have fallen as well as those that are arriving. And uh, I am so proud of this, uh, the, the Pipe and Drum Corps as led by Pipe Sergeant uh, Mike Furnish drum sergeant, um, Jessica Chandler, and uh, all of the folks who are in that group uh, who have worked so hard to become a, a, a cadre of people who can actually stand in front of uh, others and perform in a way that brings honor to a, a ceremony. Uh, it would go 
it would be crazy not to mention our, our uh, sensei, uh, Len Wood, who is uh, Pipe Major Emeritus for the Professional Firefighters of Arizona, but he is a Scottsdale uh, uh, jewel. We, he is uh, part of our band and he is key to our success. But Mike and Jesse and everybody who's in that group, uh, we're gonna give you a meritorious service badge this year for all the great work that you've done in making yourselves uh, distinguished and distinguishable amongst pipe bands uh, throughout the valley and certainly look forward to many, many more years of piping with you. So congratulations, Mike and Jessica. Uh, you will receive your pins uh, at a later date, um, but congratulations. Hi, the next uh, award I get to announce is for Meritorious Service, which the fire chief will tell you is, is going to be an A plus um, on providing service to both the organization and to the community. The first two people I really want to congratulate is Chief Bobby Rucker and Captain Sasha Weller for their leadership in the Wildland Arena. These two individ individuals um, have been doing such a great job for a long time and it made such an impact on this year's Wildland season since it was one of the craziest ones we've had yet. They've done um, some really great training with our people. They've uh, managed deployment in the city and outside of the city. They've built and maintained great relationships with uh, state and regional partners. And they've worked on a mitigation effort around the preserve that has really paid off um, during the season especially. So thank you for your leadership in that arena. The next group of individuals, which is our firefighters that responded in the Ocotillo fire, their response to this multiple alarm fire that was moving at a really rapid pace and causing a lot of danger to both the, the structures in that area and to the community itself, the people and the, and the uh, livestock that were out there. It was the quick actions from these individuals utilizing bump and run techniques and the leadership with a keen eye on firefighter safety that caused for way less structural damage and brought less risk to the community. Thank you for your work on that fire. Thank you for the leadership you provided on that fire. And I wanna commend all of the individuals getting this Meritorious Service Award for their performance and professionalism when they were called to duty. Thank you. join me as we celebrate our retirees in this past year. Uh, we are going to see more and more of our veteran members uh, go off into the next chapter of their life and we want to congratulate these members for not only an outstanding career and amazing service to the citizens of Scottsdale and really the state, uh, but just thank you so much for uh, doing all you could do to make this organization as great as it is.
that's going to bring to a close this year's awards and promotional uh, ceremony. Uh, obviously a very odd year and a curious way to celebrate each other's great accomplishments. Uh, I want to thank Lori and John and everybody who contributed to the production of uh, these awards uh, ceremony in, in, in the editing and, and all the work that you did. Uh, for those of you that uh, were recognized this year, thank you very much uh, for your service. You guys did an outstanding job. And for everyone who was nominated, thank you as well. Uh, this organization is uh, not short on talent and uh, we are going to be faced with a lot of change in the coming years that's going to rely on the talents that you guys exhibited this past year, but also those that we haven't tapped into. So as I always say, uh, and not just because we're getting ready to go through a lot of change. Um, this is your career. Uh, don't wait for any acknowledgement from anyone else uh, to pursue the things that you want to pursue. Uh, if you wanna be a medic, go to medic school. If you wanna learn a new skill in terms of specialty skills, apply for that opportunity. Uh, don't wait uh, until you've met some sort of internal marker uh, to take those opportunities. So. Uh, thank you all so much for all of your work this year, and let's be safe uh, in 2021, and uh, I hope to see you all soon.